Thursday. Four down. One to go. Alright guys, real quick video man. Um, it's Thursday. You know what? When I woke up this morning, it was like high 60s. It was humid, muggy, it rained overnight. It's been raining all day pretty much. It finally just stopped. Uh, it was hot. Damn, almost hot. But for morning time, that was considered hot. You know, 60s are cool, almost perfect weather during the day. But in the morning time, just waking up, 60s going into the 70s, that's almost hot. You know what I'm saying? So I got on this big wool, thick pullover because they said it was going to be cold today. And I woke up, it was, it was kind of warm. I was like, ooh, it's kind of humid, you know. I was like, God damn. So got to work, got my truck going and everything. And uh, man, I get back outside, temperature changed that fast. It was 40, windy too. You know, if it's cold outside and it's still, it's, it, you, it's, it's doable. But when you add that, when you factor in that wind, it, man, it, it makes it colder than what it is. Man, it was cold. It was cold. But anyway, guys, um, Amari Cooper, Amari Cooper, guys, um, we all know that he has been a, a very, one of, to me, I'm sorry, man, but to me, Amari Cooper is one of the best receivers right now in the NFL. He is right now. And he's not even 100%, guys. He's still catching balls. He's still catching touchdown passes. He's still making plays, making things happen, and he's not even 100%. So what does that tell you, man? That Amari Cooper is, he's almost at that superstar status, that, that, that playmaker, Michael Irvin. I hate to say this. I'm not, you know, he's not Michael Irvin yet, but he's almost there, man. Um, man, the, the, the kid is doing an awesome job this year. Um, he has a, a, a total of 701 yard in receptions. He has six touchdowns and um, 16.7 average. So, this guy is doing a damn thing. He would have a lot more touchdowns if he had to miss a couple of games. Um, you can tell that he's not 100. Like, against the Giants, as a matter of fact, you can tell he wasn't 100%. You can tell. But he was still getting the job done. Uh, he just doesn't have that burst anymore, you know. He still has that breakaway speed, but as far as that agility, you can tell it's not fair. Something's wrong. Um, his knee, he's actually getting an MRI done on his knee, uh, but they said he'll still play. So we don't have to worry about that. He'll still play. So that's a good thing. But Amari Cooper has proven to Cowboy fans all over the world, because we're America's team, remember? All over the world. I got a guy in my comment section. Matter of fact, one of my subscribers, he, he's all the way from all the way down from Brazil. All the way from Brazil, guys. Man, talk about representing, dog. Talk about showing love. I got another guy that's somewhere in Europe. Some, I mean, just all over the world. But we all know that Amari Cooper has made up for that first round pick that we lost, that we traded for. He was our first round pick. Um, so if we can get this guy in, man, uh, I hate to keep running him in the ground. You don't want to keep running the guy. I, I was hoping that the bye week would kind of heal some wounds that Amari Cooper has been playing with. But obviously it, it hasn't. I mean, he's still kind of, you know, favoring some injuries and some things that's going on. He'll never be 100% again. Uh, but a, a, a 85, 90% Amari Cooper is better than nothing. You get what I'm saying? So he, he's a factor when he's out there. He changes defenses when he's out there. If Amari Cooper's not out there, Michael Gallup has to kind of take the load. Cobb has to kind of take the load. And they haven't quite proven that they're able to do that yet by themselves. By themselves. Gallup has been amazing this season. Uh, Stat-wise, he hasn't been, uh, but uh, he's made some big catches for us. That I believe I can fly catch he had last game when he – Flew in the damn end zone like Superman. Oh my God, that was amazing, amazing, beautiful. Working boy, you can't, you can't ask for anything better than that. Uh, that's gonna go in the highlight reel for real, like all time, like seriously. But uh, that, that's that's the scoop on Amari Cooper, guys. Everybody else is pretty much good, man. Even Sean Lee, Sean Lee kind of sat out a couple of practices ago, but uh, he's good to go. Everybody's good, man. Just Amari Cooper, man. Uh, I don't know about Anthony Brown. Still haven't heard nothing about him yet. But I think um, 
Jordan Jordan Lewis pretty much got that spot, that slot, that nickel DB uh, sold up. So we have to worry about that, hopefully. But um, sorry, Anthony Brown, but Jordan Lewis is just a little bit more physical than you. Uh, had to play making ability and things like that. So uh, sorry. Uh, we got we want guys on the field that, that want to play, you know, want to make plays. You know? But anyway, yeah, man, that's that's the scoop I got on Amari Cooper, man. Um, I, I hope he doesn't miss this game because we should against the Vikings. We're sure gonna need that high-powered offense that we've been having. We're sure gonna need him as an extra target with Witten and Jarwin and Cobb and, and Austin and you know and and, and uh, Gallup and, and man. Shit, Schultz, you know, Zeke, Pollard, you know, all the weapons we got. We got a loaded roster, man. It might not seem like it, but we do. But uh, that's all I got, man. So, hey, get well. We got till Sunday night for this cat to heal. And uh, hopefully we'll see him, man, because you know what, it, what it's like when he's not in there. He's a big piece missing to our offense, really. Uh, to, uh, look at the Jets game. He made that one catch, and we didn't see him again. And look, look at the impact that shit look at the non-impact that <laughs> he made when he wasn't in the game so we really need him we desperately need him in that game but that's all i got guys real quick video hey it's thursday almost friday man almost time to get ready for the weekend weekends go by so fast so don't you love it make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know what the day is gonna bring you how to make some boy And the only thing else I got to say is